Folks, it's <laughs> Sunday afternoon. Welcome aboard the Mark Goo campaign, aka the Tri Generational Group. Uh, boy, are these guys in for some fun today? Uh, we will recap what they did here in just a few moments. First, let's get the particulars out of the way. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D and D. Go ahead and join our Discord channel. If you want to buy some cool stuff like a phone case or a shower curtain or a bedspread, I don't know. We got a lot of crap on there. Uh, check out our shop. Uh, thank, uh, most importantly, if you want to join the talk show or the one shot next Saturday is one of them, mhobo inc twitter or gmail hit us up we will get you on there for about two hours of fun thanks to pirate dog dice for the deity dice that's right if you guys screw this up lear is coming at you with old big red <laughs> uh and if your game stinks this one does not uh try some adventure sense by uh, oddfishgames.com adventure sense it makes your stinky game smell a whole lot better they also make the shine system which is how to write better than me which is a very low bar but i write a lot so you got to catch up uh, some of it's pretty good the rest of it's all crap uh let's get right to who's playing today as always and then we'll go ahead and give you a brief recap uh we'll start off with middle frank who are you who are you playing I'm Wild Man Robert of Zeppelin, <laughs> coming in at you hot and golden as a bard slash sorcerer, bringing all the fine hits in the hot plains of burning down the house. When you said golden, that wasn't the direction I thought you were going to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be R. Kelly, not Rock. Ah, very good. Uh, little Frank, who are you and who are you playing? Iron Man said he's barbarian. You're a barbarian slash fighter to come. As soon as you take a nap. As soon as I take a nap, yes. My Thanks, work. Priscilla. We appreciate that. Priscilla? <laughs> I don't even know. He, yeah. he Sweet the last. I, don't even, I don't know what that is at all. Sleep with your back to the wall. That's Priscilla, your seat, Queen Priscilla. of the West. <laughs> uh, AJ, you're up next. Hello, I'm AJ. I'm playing Felix the Great, as we all know. No, I'm just going to leave it at that. I, okay. There's nothing else I got. Uh, the other statesman, Frank Sr. I'm Leaf the Druid. And uh, hell, I don't know. Maybe I'll even live through this tonight. I, You know, I noticed everybody ditched the last sane member of the party moniker. Yeah, I kind of gave up on that shit. <laughs> can't, can't help but notice that. Uh, After last week, especially. <laughs> Uh, currently last, maybe yeah. not last, we might have one more person joining us. Uh, let's hear from Copious V. Bitters, the legend. The, the, the myth, the gnome, the legend. Copious V. Bitters, the third admiral of the <laughs> intrepid crew, and currently about to be horribly, probably maimed, trying to get as much gold out of a cave as possible. And you have a Kickstarter uh, live. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that, please? Oh, yeah. Uh, the the uh, second uh, issue of our um, zine RPG, so 5e adventure on Kickstarter, We Bit Twisted by Two Silver Denari. So, yep, it's our second zine. If anyone's interested, just go on and look up Zine Quest, and it comes up. And we will have a link to that on our Twitter page here in about two and a half hours. Uh, last member of the crew, maybe, maybe not. Haggis Crabstain may be along shortly unless he opts to go with homework over us. So uh, last week, these guys decided after getting out of the Halfling City of Light Reach with some collateral damage, uh, they decided uh -huh. they'd go back uh, because... These individuals all witnessed a religious tribute to the sea god Lear, of whom the halflings worshipped, uh, and that included a wagon load of stuff uh, 
just tossed into the ocean, into this deep blue circle just off the cliffs. Uh, that is no way to treat anyone's treasure. And these guys have opted to rescue it and rescue it. They did uh, as they made their way back into the maw of danger uh, with a lot of mushroom head jokes. Uh, but everybody did survive. They killed an aboleth, among other things. Nobody got turned to slime. And today uh, we find out the aftermath because they need to leave with the treasure already sent out to them. But uh, they can leave the way they came in or there's a crevice. And during the battle, there was a red vested half lane that made an appearance. So presumably through this crevice, uh, some members of the party are aware that the halflings have recovered some of the tribute bags. So there's a deeper mystery here. Uh, we rejoin these guys as the Aboleth is oozing blood into the water and they are surrounded by a cave filled with gems and coins. Uh, who has the list handy and wants to tell our audience what it was? Go ahead, Leaf. We have <laughs> 1,800 silver pieces, 600 gold pieces, 800 gold pieces that Robert of Zeppelin bit and realized are actually copper dipped in gold, 162 gems worth one die four each. I haven't rolled that up. Four gems worth 25. Two gems worth 50. Items, oh, stars indicate magical, which I, I guess I'm the only one that knows that. Silver cutlery, 18 pieces, two gold pieces each. A dented silver pitcher, a rusty watering can, a red and orange swirled marble, three copper boxes with engraved images, a magic wand in a hickory case, a compass, three portraits folded up, one is, appears to be a lewd copy of Copious. Five musical instruments, including a harmonica, which I slipped in my pocket, bongo drums, a lute that's missing a string, theremin, and a woodwind instrument. Now, the theremin is listed as uh, magical simply because it's a theremin. So you guys have never I seen I mean, what's like not this. magical about a theremin? Seriously. Exactly. <clears throat> so uh, the big problem here is as you guys sort through the treasure, everybody roll a d20 straight up. Oh, boy. Because one of you is going to discover something else. 11. Oh, shit. Three. Robert. Nine. Uh, 12 and 9. Is 12 the highest? <laughs> Uh, Robert, while you were kicking around the copper coins dipped in gold, uh, there's something underneath all these coins, and it looks like a mirror. No, I'm going to dig down. I'm who a little vain the, about myself. Who is uh, the prettiest of them all? The, the strange thing about this mirror is it doesn't give a reflection to you, or you are now a vampire. Instead, I I one. Uh, oh. instead it gives a swirling darkness of clouds uh, that seem to undulate for no particular reason. It's almost as if it is a <laughs> shit portal, maybe? Are we back on our boat? No. <laughs> We're in the cave. No. We're in a cave, dude. That's what I was afraid of. The hell? <laughs> the mirror itself is uh, rather large, about five feet long, about three feet wide. It's ovalish in nature, uh, and it's trimmed in silver. But for some reason, uh, you cannot lift it. It's almost like somebody used Gorilla Glue on their hair. I mean, on the back of a magic yeah. mirror and uh, <laughs> placed it in this cave. Uh, but you know what, Robert? The swirling clouds almost give this feeling of contentment to you I'm gonna, as you continue to bite down i want to know if a noodle it like comes up and against him going hey what is that robert and knocks robert into the mirror i'll do that uh solid choice each of you roll d20 and add your strength bonus high roller wins 
Uh, <coughs> why are my rolls? You know what? So I'm not even going to add my bonus. I rolled a four because I suck at die rolling. So you sound like you tripped. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, thinking I'm just going to kind of lean out of the way. <laughs> you tripped and fell onto the mirror is what I'm seeing. Uh, as Man Fang comes face to face with the mirror, uh, give me a perception check there, Man Fang. Do I break the mirror accidentally with my yep. super hard yeah, yeah. mirror? Mirror on the floor. Who's the ugliest of them all? Sure. There's the dirtiest <laughs> little whore. Oh, sorry. Uh, he's standing over there in the red <laughs> Why? shirt. Why are here investigating stuff? He's in the red shirt. <laughs> Why wow. are you stuck at rolling so much? You do. Uh, so Man Fang, uh, you kind of blink and miss what's about to happen, <laughs> and a clawed hand comes up and grabs the top of your head, pinning you to the mirror. Uh, ah. Robert, Felix, Leaf, and Copius, while you're stuffing your pockets, give me I'm perception just cover roll. up with the copper coins. Sure. Bury the body. Let's see if you guys all <laughs> notice this. Don't worry, the body won't be buried for long. 26. <laughs> 11. Uh, 19. 13. Cop Copius, or I'm sorry, Felix and Leaf... Uh, you see a black scaly hand pin uh, it. Man Fang to the mirror, and he begins to struggle mightily. Give me a strength check there, Man Fang. Come on, big roll. Yeah, let, me use, <laughs> let, me on, on, let me use the online dice. Try, try a digital dice. Uh, yeah. First first nap 20 of the night. <laughs> <laughs> well, never mind there, Man Fang. That's you suck. You still rolled a two. Even with the digital dice, you still roll two. Go limp! Go limp! Hey, when you get old enough, can you work at a casino? Because I'm going to come play against you. Uh, yeah. Uh, Leaf and Felix. Uh, Man Fang appears to be getting dragged into the mirror. I'm going to first yell at Robert. What? Yeah. And try to alert everybody to what's going on and start running that way. Fair enough. <laughs> He's dragging the, the ball man. Like I could stab the hand with my dagger. Sure. Oh, you know what? Use a sword. You get deeper penetration. I, I might there be able. I might be able to cut the hand off. Okay, I'm going to fully swing my sword. See if I can sever the hand. <laughs> this is where you I, might aim for the wrist area because I, that's it's the weakest weak point. I figured yeah. that's my best bet. So let's see. Do I need to roll the hip? <coughs> oh, yeah. You see that? Copious. Is, Ooh, he don't even want to watch. Oh, three. Uh, three is... You, you, you know what? You missed. But you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. You, is it three put? It, I, I didn't add the eight or the seven. I don't get that eight yet. Yeah. No, you hit man fang. Okay. Sorry. Even with that ten, I hit you. Uh, how much damage would you do have it? If if I did full damage or just roll my damage? Roll your damage and then half it. I rolled a one. Oh, boo. Uh, take one hit point of damage uh, there, Man Fang, and he continues to get dragged into the mirror. His snout, <laughs> as he is a dragonborn, is starting to, to dip down. To the mirror. Break the mirror. That'd be a good idea. Wait, uh, wait, Robert, Robert. Let his head go through so he can see what's on the other side first. Then we'll try to pull him back. You guys are going to pull my head back out. There's going to be no head. It's going to be neck. Isn't this how that one guy went crazy <laughs> in uh, John of Big Booty? Yeah, there is no uh, same party members. Uh, there are no same party members. Man Fang, give me an investigation check. Cool. Use your left hand. Roll with your left hand. Are my dice? Your, your dice is just cursed, son. Investigation. Negative three, so you got a four. <laughs> I love this character. <laughs> you, guys. Uh, you don't see what. Yeah. Why don't you uh, share my dice? Yeah. Leaf, uh, you have managed to Curse jump you. to the aid. What would you like to do? I'm going to take a squat at the damn arm. Sure. <laughs> don't <Yeah>. miss. <laughs> I'm going to start making my way there as well. Behind um, leaf. Let's all stand in a circle and hack at this arm. <laughs> Seventeen. Like with my head. Uh, Seventeen. You will, you will strike the uh, scaled arm. 
Wait, I'm just gonna use my hard. hobo. Use my hobo dice now. Did you specify which scaled arm? That's well, dragon one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, that'd be eight. Fair enough. Uh, it makes a ringing noise when you strike it, as if it is a mailed fist. Uh, who else wants to do something this round? Um, Copius is looking through the treasure for jewels, rings, necklaces. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> Thank you. Not, not a problem at all. Felix. If I can get to Man Fang, I'll grab his ankles and start trying to pull him so that he doesn't go through the mirror. Yeah, don't pull my boots off. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that I always feel more confident when somebody grabs me by the ankles. <laughs> <laughs> I never said I was. <laughs> and wheelbarrows me. Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead and hit Man Fang. Oh, boy. Here's the red dice. A five. Uh, boy, he's slippery. <laughs> he must have some of that mucus on him. Damn. Uh, Robert, no, that came from me. Yeah, well, you still got it on your hands. I got it everywhere, as I recall. That's why Felix never won. So, Robert, you're up. What do you want to do? I'll try to. Is uh, I'll try to grab him and pull him out. Hit him. Nineteen. Oh yeah, you got a hold of him. Uh, roll against me for grapple. All right. What are you doing? I'm rotating. 30 20. You suck. Yeah, I cursed your die by touching you. Is it plus strength on the grapple? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, 23. Uh, you start to uh, yank him out. Uh, Man Fang, last investigation check. Cool. I'm going to use your die. Use a left hand. That works surprisingly well. Minus three, so it's ten. Uh, That's a big roll for him. Yeah, he rolled a 13 natural. I, th I think he's actually gotten more if he added up all of his other die rolls today. Uh, you <laughs> see the beautiful visage of Sean Connery, uh, but then it starts to become twisted and angry and you see uh sean reach towards your face to touch it uh new okay. round uh leaf i'm was... underage be gone <laughs> new round uh <laughs> leaf, you're up uh haggis uh just to let you know uh, man fang has fallen into a magic mirror underneath the treasure i don't have much and that description you just gave all that's on the other side of the mirror so none of us saw that right we just see the mailed hand pulling his head in correct Do we oh, see the mailed hand, or is that is his head so far in now that we don't even see the hand any longer uh no the hand is slipping away because it's been whacked at and robert is pulling but it's still on his neck <clears throat> i've taken another swat at it i rolled it a 20 dirty Sure, that is. Come on, hobo, bitch. You're going to decapitate Noodle sooner or later. Oh, probably. That's a five, six, seven, seven. Uh, the hand really starts to slip away, and uh, he has fresh claw marks uh, going down. Uh, man, friend, who you're going to take eight hit points of necrotic damage Ow! and you will be permanently scarred for it too oh yeah like that's how to make him look better that's right uh i believe you can't uh, get any uglier at this I mean, point really. the entire face is going to be one big scar uh, let's uh let's uh throw haggis into this haggis uh everybody except copius who is making a concerted effort to look for jewelry is attempting to maybe kill Man, Fang, maybe save him. We aren't sure. What would you like to do? Wait, someone... He wants to kill Man, Fang? Well, Man, Fang's on the ground and everybody keeps trying to hack at him. He's laying on a mirror. So he, he so he's inside of a mirror? Well, just the snout of him now as his face is starting to come out of it. Okay, Um, could I help the process of pulling him out? Like, could I grab him? And Hit him. Yank him in? Yank him in. <laughs> Make him in. Push him in. Are you, are you pretending to pull him out, but in reality, you're shoving him further in? Oh, no. He's so heavy. I'm losing ground. 
Um, <laughs> Poor man thing. It yeah, does a one do? That. A one? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and roll a D6. One to two, you knock Robert down. Three to four, you knock Felix down. Or five to six, you knock Leaf down. Four? Uh, Felix, you are off kiltered and pushed out of the way. Roll a d20. If it's one through five, you're going to add your face to the mirror. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, you are pushed onto the pile <laughs> of coins just as Copious spots a necklace. You slide across the coins and hide it. Ah! Uh, Felix, that will take you out of commission. Uh, Robert, uh, with some fine footwork, you managed to avoid the sliding Felix as Haggis, the halfling, pushed the human out of the way. Uh, Manfang is still in jeopardy. What would you like to do? I'm going to continue to pull the little bastard. Okay, give me another strength pull. The ugly bastard, anyhow. Ugly-er. That 20. Oh, yeah. Out he comes. Oh, I get cracked. I, I steal all your 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 rolls. Really. So Robert will now use Man Fang as an improvised weapon. <laughs> I should have had Haggis just pile drive into the mirror itself. Well, that's what I thought. You're going to make Haggis and Man Fang slide into the mirror farther. Could have. Uh, Man Fang, do you want to share what you have seen? Uh, that, I've seen just, the face of God. Uh, Prince of Darkness. Just John Carpenter, Prince of Darkness. I've seen Lear. Snake Plissken? Looking face and tried to bad touch me. There's a man in there touching me. Yeah, and I do not enjoy it. Here. Uh, right here. Uh, there you go. What do you guys want to do about it now? Is that Did the hand, after after a noodle was pulled away, did the hand go back in here? Mm -hmm. Stay away from that mirror. Do we, is it, I, I want to, poke at the mirror surface just to see if the hand comes back up. Not with my hand. I want to, is there an object <laughs> laying around? What do you I want to throw the halfling in? I was, thinking, halfling? I was thinking the halfling's here. We can throw him on there. <clears throat> if he goes in, does the hand come back out? I don't know, but you know that halfling's going to come back and haunt us. August, they're not if you just asked me, I'd do it. They're not talking about you. They're talking oh, okay, about the good. red vest. Yeah, there's they're talking a, about the red vest. Then yeah. throw the red vest on it. <laughs> yeah. There's a dead halfling here, not Haggis. The dead yeah. halfling. You need to clarify that shit. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> you about got a dagger in the back. So that's what you want to do? You want to throw the red yeah, vest? I want to see oh, we should check the pockets before we waste a body, you know? That's Fresh true. organs, you know? We could sell August, that stuff. Uh, that red vest will fit you. <laughs> yeah, they oh, yeah, me. that red vest might fit me. Can I take the red vest? Sure. I'm so taking the red vest. Their base. I might it, have PTSD and stabbing. It, it much like Felix, <laughs> is covered in slime, but... <laughs> yeah, you don't want to put that shit on. Uh, I'll also give you guys uh, two gold pieces. Uh, he is now stripped of his red vest. Uh, who wants to uh, toss him onto the mirror? Not me. I think Copious, Copious wants him. It's his idea. <laughs> it's so it's his idea so. Copious Chuck him on the mirror. I want to see if that okay. dexterity. Yeah. Hey, make your dexterity roll to see if you didn't get snagged and thrown in with it. <laughs> you may uh -oh, need someone I with high it. dexterity. Sixteen. <laughs> uh, you throw the halfling on there. Almost immediately, a series of black, oily tentacles come up, wrap themselves around the halfling, whoop, into the mirror. A new plan, guys. Don't touch the mirror. <laughs> What if we break the mirror? I'm going to cover the mirror hey. back up with copper coin. What if we just break the mirror? Have we thought of that yet? Hey, can we flip it over? We tried to break it. With no, it's glued to it. Hurt. Remember, no. gorilla glued okay. to the surface. All right. Is that, uh, that just, apple? Wait, let's okay. just stay away from it, get our shit, and get out of here. Can we just... Who wants to roll the percentile start, roll? Well, I'll start loading up gold coins and stuff. Let's go. What else can we throw at the mirror? Now, now hang on. Uh, Robert's already started to cover the mirror up, so somebody needs to roll a percentage for me to see how, how much, much are we losing. How it's, it's, much it's lost. I thought you said these were copper coins. No, no, no. There's also Some. gold covered copper wait, coins. Wait. Can you tell by picking them up? No. Wait. Let's let's be clear. The one thing we do know is what's silver. Throw the yeah. silver on the on top of the mirror. <laughs> yeah, but there you go. But but <clears throat> I want to know 
uh, we have at least one party member that's known to turn a different species in the full moon. Is this silver grade and high enough quality that we can use this later on? Okay, just checking. Thank you. Damn. Well, it's a good party, isn't it? All for He's one. He's got another week before he turns again. It's all for hey, one and no, one for Kobe. I'm not saying <laughs> turning, but you line a, a room of the ship with the silver and stick him in the middle of it. That's true. I'm sure that will not cause insanity. So who's uh, who's, who's rolling the percentage? <laughs> you have to be sane to move into insanity. Rolling what? Let's Unfortunately, I think percentage. Robert has to roll the percentage because percentage. he's the one who's over there throwing coins on it. I would agree. Sure. The curse. Wait, let me touch it first. I wish Manfang could be the one to roll the percentage, though. <laughs> no, he'd roll like 95. He would roll 95. <laughs> no, natural 100. I rolled 97. Oh, <laughs> 97% of the silver now covers the mirror. Well, well Manfang did I'll touch the, the dice list. before I rolled it. <clears throat> Uh, now, D12 against me, Robert, to see if you got one of those mad or one of those musical instruments. Nine. Ten. Damn it. Oh. Uh, how many magical or how many musical instruments were there? Six. I, hang on, I'll tell you. So yeah, 17, 1,746 silver coins are gone. Jesus <laughs> God. And Dumbass. we were getting the band back together. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I don't need taxation to rob you guys. Five, five, five <laughs> musical instruments. I'm going to say four because uh, I put the harmonica in my pocket. That is fair. Uh, so, not counting the harmonica. What is number one? Uh, bongo drums. Bongo drums are sitting in the silver. Well, Bongo drums are going. It, Let me take them it, off. There's nothing that says we can't try to pull it out of the silver, right? No, no, you can try that. What are the other instruments? Grab the bongo drum. <laughs> I'll grab the bongos. A loop <laughs> missing a uh, string. Loop missing a string, a theremin, and a woodwind instrument. Well, I uh, think Felix like has to play the woodwind. Can I take Felix a theremin or whatever, whatever it was? was? You can take the theremin. What's a theorem? I don't know. I'll you know, show you later. I'll look it up. So you can play with that in your hands and stick it in like the metal rod. Yeah. Yeah. It's it it's almost like a laser instrument. It just goes on air and sounds. Oh that? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll take that. That is what Jimmy Page used when he recorded Whole Lot of Love. <clears throat> the musical wow. interlude in the center of it. That's all him playing with that damn theremin. And since he doesn't know who Jimmy Page is, it's what Sheldon uses on the Big have. Bang Theory. <laughs> well, I don't know. His dad plays that. Uh, 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 Copius is going to try to reach for the bongos. He sure. he's a, he could he's got a beatnik sensibility about him. He'll reach for the bongos. I assume as you put it next, right? At, well, as you reach for the bongos, you notice that the silver is filtering down into the mirror, and small black scaly oily fingers, aka tentacles are siphoning things in. So make the dex check, but you got to beat me and I'll roll a straight d20. Ugh, 15. Seven, 17 on ah. the die. <laughs> the bongos go with. Uh, the tentacles, there's no silver left. The tentacles are looking for stuff. Yes. I'm going to flip another coin onto the mirror just to see how they react. Uh, whoop, down it goes. But they just keep staying up there looking for more, right? Now let's just quit throwing coins on the damn mirror. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up a pebble and throw a pebble at the tentacle and see what happens. Oh, please say it throws it back. It, it just swats it away. Really? Interesting. How, about, how about a chunk of abolith? What's it doing with a chunk of abolith? It will absorb the abolith chunk. Huh. All right. I'm satisfied. So did you the get cave the begins to rumble. Did you get the bongos? <laughs> we got to go. No. No. The no, bongos, bongos are lost. Here. And the cave's starting to vibrate and rumble. August. <laughs> the, the theremin's magical. That's all I'm going to tell you that. So I can play it and something will happen? 
Uh, well, no, yeah, yeah, and you don't know what the hell is going to happen. I suggest you wait till we get out of the damn. I, I say start strumming it. <laughs> I say don't listen to him. Think, so, things hey, who's things cannot the, get worse, right? Who's taking the, who's taking the bassoon? Oh, that that was the option. Okay, that's yeah. fair. The wait, bassoon? okay, I like that. No, I'll I don't have the woodwind interest instrument. I'll take the missing. That's the bassoon. <laughs> oh, yeah, He's I guess I'm getting the bassoon. bassoon. <laughs> Has to be a bassoon. It yeah, could have been a feeling. smaller thing. How about a didgeridoo? Well, it could have been. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said woodwind. Uh, woodwind, I decided double read. We'll go bassoon or oboe. Yeah, I, I like that choice. Oh, he's going to whip out a recorder. No, not a recorder. That'd be that ain't easy a double, to carry. That ain't, that ain't woodwind. <laughs> I got one of those here. That's one of those Native American. Flutes. It is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, now make it five feet long, and that's what you're hauling around. Uh, the if I could make wood rubble. five feet long, I wouldn't waste my skills on this. <laughs> <laughs> we are for mature audiences only, folks. So yeah. Experience the charm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, gather this shit up and get out of here. Are we going to try to go up through this, explore this crack? Yes. The cave is rumbling. Yeah, yeah. I know it. We need to go. Listen, you've got a gnome and a halfling that can easily fit through the crack. You guys can get through it, but it's a tight fit, correct? So right. let's let the gnome and the halfling, who both halfling have a little first. bit on the sneaky skill, to try to go through it first <laughs> yeah. and see what's on the other side. Yeah, okay. that, that, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> let the gnome go through it. Move in as stealthily as possible because the gnome can see in the dark. So who's going first? Uh, the gnome will go first. Kobe. More importantly, who is going last? <laughs> Man, Fang, it is. Okay. I got uh, the gnome, you dive into the crevice. It's a little bit tight for the big boys, not for you, uh, but it does seem to open up a little bit. You also notice wet footprints. Going, can I tell if they're going which direction? In or out? Towards the cave. In. It's going okay. in. So something came out of the water and went in. Like oh, a yeah. little red coated numb? No? Like somebody came from a water based area towards the cave. Okay. Like a gnome? Or not a gnome, a halfling. Like the a toes halfling. are pointing in a direction you came from. How's that? Uh, man fang. The tentacles seem to be enlarging themselves oh, and reaching out. What's your AC? Uh, I'm going to make sure I scoop up anything glowing blue and get it in a bag first. I feel like I've seen this somewhere before, so I might want to speak. No, we'll get the gems and gold. Let's get, let's, we, guys, we got to go. 17 plus five. I'm assuming a 23 hits you. No, it doesn't. <laughs> That's good. Uh, you're going to take seven more necrotic damage. I hate you. And give me a grapple roll. But you were saying how you'd like to play a different character. That might come true today. <laughs> <laughs> you, might, you might play the tentacle beast. <laughs> no, I think he's going to be that cat, the cat man we've got on the boat. Nice. I'd rather just make another character. That I, I think you I should like be Phineas. <laughs> oh. 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 No, 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 because I'm killing Phineas. Right. No, you can't right. kill Phineas. Oh, yes, I can. You want no, I just want to point out to Noodle, yeah, this is a reason to keep your character alive, because the alternative is to play the other gnome right on the ship. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, what, what's your grapple roll right. there, Manfang? What's that? Sorry. Grapple roll for Manfang? Oh, roll your dive uh, 20. Yeah, roll it. Roll your one. That's an eight, plus your strength, correct? Yeah. Drink save. What well, either way, it doesn't matter. Save it's five. Save. Okay. That's, oh, yeah. well, you're if it's a save, that's a plus eight. That's sixteen. Yeah. He you do manage to break free from the tentacle. You still suffer the damage, and you throw yourself into the crevice, uh, bumping into whoever was next to last. Uh and I assume you're ugly as thin. I assume you're gonna start screaming that. It's trying to eat you, or bad just touch. Can't... Right. bad touch, bad, bad touch, touch. <laughs> bad as touch. You, as you turn to look, the tentacles are still growing and headed towards you. You need to uh, scoot 
Fast push, push, push. These push. are some very exciting things, I would say. <clears throat> just, I'm just trying to, so that, that mirror has been in that cave longer than just our little adventure. So something's primed it and now enraged it. Are the tentacles going to get so long that they chase us all the way back to our ship? Uh -uh. I don't know. Uh -uh. It's, that that. it's that one bitch lawyer. She done released the Kraken. Oh, I could boy. set an acid trap behind me. Yeah, but where are you in the line? He's like up second. in the front. Head of all <laughs> don't be setting the acid trap. <laughs> I might Wait, get I, to, I, the tentacles are going to go over top. I, I may I, get to use a lightning <laughs> bolt in here yet. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Uh, Manfang's Hurry. pushing. I'm pushing Hurry. too. Why are you pushing, Manfang? Because the tentacle monster is trying to bad touch me. I'm Man, Manfang, we'd like to go ahead and have a unique discussion with you <laughs> while you're running for your life as the tentacles whip at your ass cheeks. I will start to kick them to get them to move faster because their tentacles are trying to bad touch me. Uh, we'll just yell up, go, go, go. Go, go, gadget. Yeah, the thing's <laughs> coming out of the mirror. We got to move. Copious, uh, there's a lot of yelling and pushing behind you. Your stealth roll isn't going to be real stellar. Nope. I'm, I'm pushing through it. when they don't get out of the way. Uh, is everybody going to get out of the way or move faster? I'm moving, moving faster. faster. Either faster. they get out of the way or get ran over. Uh, copious, uh, it goes up, then it steeps down. Uh, then the whole tunnel floods with water as it goes sideways. Uh, there's another movement down. Uh, you find a bit of rope hanging. Uh, anything you want to do with that? Uh, so I assume, does it go to the ceiling or is it tied to a wall? What's the, where, where it's do I tied start? to a wall and then tied to a wall, but then it's like frayed. Well, this screams trap. Can I inspect like, the rope before they like get Like the Goonies there? trap. Do I have uh, to inspect it? Uh, uh, sure, but Manfang, are you still ooh, oh, pushing yeah. everybody? I'm uh, pushing. <laughs> uh, at disadvantage, Copious. You people. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry. Who wanted to go first? <laughs> <laughs> Try to do a favor for people and look what you did. <laughs> oh, what it, Copious does not do favor for anybody but Copious. No. I have led this ambitious crew for to our death. <laughs> What's your Who role? Who blew up the town? 14. The monster, the black lagoon is chasing us. <laughs> as, uh, as you notice that this was some kind of rope placement, uh, you notice that there is a drop. <laughs> uh, now, make a dexterity save to hold your position. Well, first off, Robert, you're getting pushed from behind. So I'm you make who's your, in front of me. Well, okay, Felix. Uh, do you want to push who's in front of you, or do you want? Uh, am I getting around? pushed from behind as well? You're getting pushed by Robert. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep pushing too. I mean, Leaf, you're getting pushed by Felix. Do you yeah, want to hold? Gonna, your... I'm going to go ahead and rip off a big dirty one when Felix pushes me. <laughs> are, are you going to hold your ground? Uh, no, I'll that's going to make me stop pushing. And I'm going to laugh. And, I'm going to laugh and move forward. Mustard so, gas attack. So we have a shark in the tunnel. Felix, uh, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, being a druid, we don't wear anything under these robes. <laughs> Felix and Robert roll off uh, strength versus strength with your uh, additive. 14. 21. <laughs> nope, you're getting pushed. Uh, Robert, make a deck save because you're pushing Felix down. 20, 30. Uh, and you step on him. <laughs> <laughs> you maneuver into the toxic gas. <laughs> uh, Copious, uh, you're looking into a kind of a steep pit. Hurt my eyes. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm looking to if, see if I can go around the pit. This isn't where the water was, right? We're past the water. So this past is just a the pit. There's a rope going over the pit. And it's frayed. Like it's... If you don't play the S flat, cut. we'll all be flat. So nice. I'm looking uh, at the rope. Does it look like they used to use the rope to cross the pit? Or is there a space around the edges? Come up out of the pit is what it looks like. Okay. 
I'm going to see if I can get around the pit along the, the edges. Nope. You have to go down the pit and back up? You got to go down the pit. And how deep's the pit look? Well, you're about to find out. Uh, Robert, are you going to push Leaf? <laughs> Leaf, uh, despite your use of shark gas, what, uh, <laughs> do you want to try and hold firm while Copious investigates? I'm going to try to hold so I don't knock Copious in the hole. Oh, Copious will dodge your ass. I'm just telling you that right now. <laughs> I have got no warnings that we're coming to a halt. All I know is that's, I'm uh, getting pushed from behind and there's yeah, tentacles that's a, are touching that's just a, That's an 11. Yeah. Uh, strength check, Robert. He got an 11. 15. Uh, pushed out of the way. Give me a dex check, Robert. Natural 20. <laughs> uh, Haggis, you're about to get run down. <laughs> By me. I dodge out of the way. You can try, but it's a really narrow tunnel. But can with dexterity? Dex yeah, acrobatics yeah. or dexterity? Can you yeah. use acrobatics? Either one. The master of dexterity does not need to use either. <laughs> 18. That's fine. Robert, uh, are you going to continue forward? The only thing between you and the exit of this tunnel, presumably, is copious. I'm just moving. I don't know what's ahead of me. I just know what's behind he's, he's coming, copious. Natural 20. Uh, Robert, uh, <laughs> I was blinded by a gas attack. I got Lizard Boy touching me behind, saying, "Touching bad spots, touching bad spots." Uh, Copious and Haggis, you flatten yourself uh, from the charging bull, and at first, and you hear this really strange sound that you never thought a human body part would make. It's kind of like. <laughs> A watermelon hitting concrete, uh, and Robert's going to take eight hit points and be dazed as he Wait. falls eighteen feet down. Dang, Robert! I'm going to look. Hey, there's there. a hole here. No, I'm looking in the hole. I'm going. I'm going to throw a, a, a flask or something. I'm going to tell him to put the lotion on. It puts the lotion on. <laughs> now, uh, Copious, do you have dark vision? Yeah, I have. Dark okay. Vision. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, you can see his butt talks and his legs flailing in the air. Uh, he is just crumpled over. Uh, what kind of a flask are you going to drop down onto his butt talks? Yeah, probably bitters. <laughs> bitters. Bitters best. Drink some of this, Robert. Bitters gold. Hit him. It'll make you don't you want the bitters. The bitters gold is when he refills those flasks. Uh, good news, Robert, as you are inverted, uh, he throws a flask down and hits the twins. <laughs> it's, a, it's a direct hit. To over oh, oh, damn, uh, it was a golden bitters. Your, your movement will be slowed. Your voice will be tinny. Uh, and roll a D10. That's how many minutes it's going to take for you to get over this egregious. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Two minutes. Oh, oh no, the twins are hit. Uh, uh, oh, Walt. Uh, uh, copious, it looks like you could fasten another rope to these pittens. Is there um, any chairs down here? Uh, there's teeth. <laughs> I think there's teeth down there. Uh, you are now on a cobblestone floor, Robert, and there is a hallway. Give me a nature check to see if you know what direction you'd be going. Uh, 14. East. You're pretty sure east, northeast. <clears throat> and this floor is wet, and there's also uh, rotting remains of a rope, presumably what was frayed up top. Hey, there's a tunnel down here. A little higher. There's a tunnel down here. <laughs> I'm going to call back to everybody else say, Robert said he's okay, and there's a tunnel down there. You want Let's go. How That's deep is the hole? Do I need to like uh, grapple down? 18 feet. Yeah, can... I, I want to tie a rope to the, the loop or pitten that's stuck in the wall. I sure. think we have that little short stretch of rope, like 15 feet of short rope, something like that. The sure. really good stuff. Yep. Give me a survival check to make sure you tie it off correctly. I'm, I'm looking at the druid or somebody else going, All right, I'll do it. Tie this off. <laughs> 
I that's a 20, good. dirty 20. Uh, oh, yeah. He Leaf ties it, yanks on it. Thumbs up. He's he's he is 100 percent certain right. he did it right. I'm going down to the tunnel to see how Robert's doing. He has now shifted his weight over like a <laughs> turtle on his back, and he's uh, I'm okay, I'm okay, <coughs> I'm okay. You can you can just push them down from your neck. Maybe they'll go <laughs> ahead and follow gravity. Uh, and you find uh, what appears to be a I'll say man-made construction tunnel. To cobbled, cobbled, or appears to be cobbled uh, floor going down Correct. the tunnel. Okay. Hewn out of the cliff rock. And it's it uh, just, I know you said northwest, I don't, but does east. it feel like we're Northeast headed east. opposite direction from the seafront? Uh, yes. Seems like you're headed into the cove. Oh, great. All right, I'll call that back up to the top. Well, Robert, Robert drink some of that. Drink some of that. It'll make you feel better. It'll make you. Ain't, Robert, ain't nothing going to make you feel better for two minutes. Do I have that bottle in my hand? Uh, with a one, I'll say it shattered on the twins. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be careful to pee in or sitting down next I, time. I, I rolled an eight. It wasn't a one, so the bottle didn't shatter. So I have the bottle. Sure. Wait, okay. The bottle shattered. I'm going to blame him for breaking my bottle. <laughs> He aimed, he aimed for the soft parts. I know. <laughs> oh, did the bottle shatter? That's what I'll, said I'll, say, I'll say. I'll say no with an eight. I'll, I'll right. give you that. I'm going to shatter it back over right. his head. You're lost. That was a healing potion, but you know, <laughs> trying to help you out, man. Yeah, you're a real swell dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <I'm your potion laughs> back. Kofi's just heading into the tunnel. Uh, Haggis, you're up second. Do you want to shimmy down the rope? Uh, as you get to the bottom, Robert is kind of hands and knees crawling his way out as Copia sidesteps him to investigate more thoroughly. Uh, third one, Leaf, you going to shimmy on down? I want to check on Manfang first, oh, if wow. there's room to do that. Oh, yeah, because uh, it's just you and he now, or you, he, and Felix. Felix is getting up, not real happy, dirt. Some slime. I'll let Felix go first. So I can check on Man Fang. So the big boys all have to roll a dex check because it's going to be a tight fit, and there's a irregularly shaped tunnel here with sharp shards. Well, you know, Felix is a little bit more slimed than that, or lubricated now. Sixteen. That's not. That's not a good thing. Sixteen. Uh, no, it's not. Le Leaf makes it down. Of course. Uh, Felix is going to like wipe the slime from his hands and then roll oh, man, a 13. Thing, right? <laughs> yeah, sure, wherever, you know. You know, I you, rolled missed, a 13. you missed an opportunity. You should have added slime to your hand and then gone down like a fireman. Yeah. Uh, I didn't think that would end well. Uh, me, of no. course, you're not a fireman, so you'd have to roll to make sure you didn't break something when you hit. That's true. Yeah, and Felix still <clears throat> is really down on hit points. What is it? Man Fang, you're last. Give me your dex roll. Let's Don't see if you can add your increase of scars. Man Fang, just pick a number one to four, and that's your roll either way. My dice don't even roll now. Roll. Roll the dice. A nine. Plus dex. Plus dex, which is one. So that's a ten. Good enough. Uh, you make it down without getting cut open. Uh, yeah. Everybody is at the bottom. Copius and Robert have made it into a secondary somewhat horizontal not completely zero but somewhat horizontal tunnel Haggis and leaf is behind him uh felix and manfang are bringing up the rear uh the further you go the nicer this tunnel becomes until you reach a door it's just wood slats all right, so I'm going to look at Robert. <clears throat> Robert's with us, but he wasn't with us when we were exploring the, the tunnel along the seafront, right? He was up causing chaos. Yeah, correct. Yes. So I'm going to talk. I'm going to tell Robert <clears throat> that Copius is starting to wonder if this isn't the, the seafront. There's a big tunnel that runs the seafront that we explored, and that this may be that tunnel or connect to that tunnel given the direction we're coming from and what we've seen. 
<clears throat> and then he's going to try to listen at the door, perception, see if he hears anything at all, sees crack of light around the edges, any of that kind of stuff. I, I want to tell Copious, before anybody opens a tunnel door, let's get some healing done on the ones that need it the most. Um, that sounds like a really good How idea. could you need oh, healing? You weren't, even in the, you weren't even in the battle. You were in the water swimming around. Could I uh, crack the door open I was in the water outside? swimming around? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure, you can do that as Copius puts his ear to the door. All right, give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, Not I'm healing not. anybody. Just <laughs> open the door. Leave. Copious tries to be annoying. Copious didn't no. hear. Did he? <laughs> guys, guys, this it's good. This is good on the other side. There's nothing on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely convinced there's nothing on the other side. What is on the other side? Uh, there is a uh, Obviously, cobbled tunnel. Uh, there is a torch hanging in the sconce. And as you look around the door, you notice the exterior, or it would be the interior towards the tunnel of the door, uh, looks like it's masoned. So somebody's been to Lowe's, they've gotten some freeform stone and made it a secret door. So, wait, there's another tunnel with another door on the end? <laughs> this so we should. This area, Leaf will recognize. Oh, boy. <laughs> cool. Um, to the other door? Yeah. Well, I'm just the open one that. door. And then there's... How about we hold off before we open that door? <laughs> and let's get some healing first. I'm going to open a door and ring bells. <laughs> <laughs> what if we close the other door so they could heal and we... There, there's just the one door into this, this masoned tunnel. There's not another door at the end of this tunnel. Is what he's saying. Oh, not so, yeah, not that you can see. Yes, you this, just know this the door tunnel, you walk through. This tunnel will run half the length of the harbor, and this yeah. is where Leaf came in chasing the thieves. So there is another door. It's about 15 feet up on your left. Uh, okay. Also, you can smell the salt air from the cove. Yeah. Let's uh, the, Listen, we can't, we can't if we're back in there now. Feel it. Man, Fang, how low are you on hit points? 15 necrotic damage, so I'm not horribly down. All right, uh, I'm done then. Um, rotting. Smells like almond. What? Copious? Yeah, I'm low. I'm below half hit points. All right. Now, are, are you guys just standing there in this open door? Apparently. I wasn't. Fair I enough. wasn't standing in front of the open door. Everybody, perception check. Oh, crap. Oh, natural 20. Uh, six, 16. 13. Uh, 13, copious. Oh, I'll Thank take you. him. I needed that. Ooh, 15 for Frank. Noodle got 15. I got a one. My perception. Uh, Robert and Haggis, you do not hear it. Everybody else hears the sound of rushing water. Not rushing in. Rushing out. Well, we should just shut the door. We'll be safe. Wait, 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 wait. Rushing from behind us or in front of us in the new tunnel? In front of us, where Leaf entered the sewer, it sounds like the water is rushing out. That sounds tunnel. like that might be the tide going out. Only on monster energy drinks. Yeah, on monster or, or energy drink. It's a sea god who's pissed off that we stole all of his stuff. <laughs> what are you talking about? I gave him all a silver back in the in the harbor. Wait and a the second. Bongos. <laughs> Wait a second. I've seen this before. The water rushes out first, then it comes back. We need to go. We all need right, to go. Four at the top. I'm here. Don't you just stand on the uh, shore and watch it disappear? <laughs> No, I, I go out and collect I, seashells. Hey, hey, Robert, if you look up, you'll see the body shoved in the crevices above us because that's <laughs> – so I'm heading to the door that we see. Yeah. And I'm going up there trying to hear through it, and, and hopefully they're following. There's a, there's a little barred entryway, and you see the cove is devoid of any water except for a few puddles. Uh, all of the rowboats, the fishing boats, are beached, and out where your ship used to be when it was in the cove, just a sandbar. There is no water there whatsoever. Uh, you also hear shouts on the tier above you. 
So this is, is this the, uh, the, the, the lowest tier is what I'm looking through the door out onto, right? Mm -hmm. And we see people out there right now. You do not see people. You hear people. Okay. I'm going to call, I'm going to relay all that behind me. <laughs> if they don't hear it, but guys, the water's all gone. It's, it's all gone. And our ship was out to sea. I'm worried that our ship is all gone too at this point. <clears throat> Well, it, it was around. It was around the other side of the hook, so it might be all right where it was sitting. I don't at. think the sea god cares where it was. I think the sea god <laughs> only has control over this harbor. I don't think the sea god has control over all the oceans of this. Yeah, that the, sounds about right. <laughs> I don't think the sea god down. appreciates you like telling him where, where he can't control the harbor god. So, <laughs> I'm the, sorry, the she got cut off right here at the box. I think if we sacrifice <laughs> halflings to him, he'll be happy. I guess. <laughs> All right, you know, if I don't see anybody, guys, I'm going. I'm going to open this door, and then we need to to move. Yeah, um, back up with the door. Ship. Get up to higher ground. We just gonna run get to high ground. Cars and run out to the ship. On yeah, the we know where it is. It's a, it's around the yeah, rock. We, we could all the... dive off this cliff and to the sand, waterless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that'll work. Oh hey, wait, wait, quick, quick inventory check. Who has water breathing capability left? Does anybody have a pill left? I do. Tab left. He's got well, we we don't I know do. if the now. pills are still working or not. Nope. You know, we don't know that. that is yeah, because you pissed off the harbor god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's not whether I have, I don't, I've got one pill left, but I also can <laughs> cast water. Pill. I can cast water breathing on everybody. It's not going to make you fast under the water. Uh, okay. But you'll right. be able to breathe underwater. Well, we could try to go to Georgina's, go back through town because we're loved here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. We show our face anywhere. We're meat. Gosh, wonder why. We got to get to the high ground. All the right, third I'm level. What's the, the, oh. the the noises have changed to screams of fear, uh, and they are definitely on level tier right. one above you. Yeah, at least, a, all right. I'm opening the door. Can I see a, a shadow, a hiding space, or something to get behind as I get out the door, or is it just like wide open? And there's a slight overhang okay. uh, that Lee found earlier. Hey, I got one of those. <laughs> Making my way over there. Uh, you you go out, Haggis, are you following? Yeah, I want to look around. Uh, too. It is a gruesome sight as the cove itself, like I said, devoid of water except for small puddles. Fish are flipping around uh, as they suffocate. And there is no water here. <laughs> I, hey, Haggis, there's part of, part of Copius is going, huh. I almost feel guilty about this ecological disaster we may have caused. May. <laughs> almost. Hey, now's a good time to set fire. They have nothing to put it out with. Ooh. <laughs> but that changes real soon. <laughs> I think the water's coming back. All right. I'm going to keep moving along until everybody's out, out of the door. All right. Who got a quicker pace here? Well, is this like a dock, Ron, that we... So there should be like a ropes that were attached to like the dock that they use to attach the ship. So can we use that to grapple down onto the sand and just run across the sand to get to oh, the ship? Oh hell yeah, yeah. You think yeah. you're gonna make it? Yeah, it's it's, sure. it's actually a very short leap from the stone. Uh, remember, these are just flat bottom fishing boats. It's three feet, uh, and you can see the opening to the cove, and you know that your ship is over here on the right somewhere. Uh, can we probably can we see a way to get up uh, the rock towards the, the top of the cove where, where our ship would be or not? As you look up, you see that is where the halfling population has steadied itself, and that is where the screaming is heard. Uh, it is not from the second tier. It is from straight up. And you can see everybody is looking out towards the ocean in hey, absolute fear. Now let's go up to Georgina's <laughs> and see if there's any more pills. Uh, Isn't that where our ship is? Is our ship where everyone is? Yes. The, the, <laughs> well, the, the boat, the rowboat is. They're at where that one superhero that was there fighting. Uh, Rodrigo. Yeah, Rodrigo. 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 They're up there on that ridge. Our yes. boat outside or the cove. 
Don Peyote. <laughs> yeah, well, what I, kind of know, yeah, right. what, what, whatever you guys want to do, I have four options here. I'm ready to go with either one. So yeah. you want to try and run yeah. across the sandy bottoms? <laughs> uh, go ahead. If you <laughs> we will not climb, make yeah. it across there, guys. That's stupid. I, we gotta no, go I agree. Well, I am stupid. All right. So uh, what I'm hearing is we want to go up to Georgina's to see if she has a court. Yeah. I am not stopping at Georgina's. I am continuing on because I have a feeling all the way up to the third tier is getting flooded out. So so we're trying to make Probably. our way to high ground on the side yep. where the ship is. Yeah. You see the ship. But, well, that's where it sounds like all, I want to make high ground where the halflings are not. So you want to go to the far side of the cove? Yeah. We don't want to run amongst the middle of all the halflings that we try to burn down their village that were chasing me out. So essentially, you want to run across the waterless bay and try and climb the rocks that make up the far fan. No. Are they all I over? The the They're here. all here. The water comes in the same way you guys did. And over here, there was no buildings, no nothing. Here is Rodrigo and his tower and where they threw the tributes over. And our ship is on that side where Rodrigo It's off the other, side. Now, on the other side. Your, your rowboat is on Rodrigo's We don't side. care about that rowboat. Yeah, we're, we're ditching the rowboat, it sounds like. We're just trying to get to the side where our ship is to see if we can see our ship. So we got to run across the sand to do that. Well, we're saying a rock face is what he's saying. So we can't go up to the upper tier in the village and go around. and make our way out onto that rock outcrop from where there. everybody's at is what he's getting at. Though. Yeah, everybody is up on that rock. It, it's just oh, okay. like when the tribute was being made. Everybody oh, okay. is up there to see the horror. Unleashed. Okay. Can I just go and see this horror? Can I just pull my foot hood up? Yeah. Go see the horror real quick. Sure. Come yeah. back down. That's well, you're fun. wearing a red vest, right? No, I can put it on if I want. Yeah. So I'm going to go up top. Yeah. You better top. hope nobody recognizes it. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah. Haggis, Haggis is going up to top tier. What's everybody else doing? I'm sneaking up to find a higher ground than where I'm at. Sure. That's fine. Everybody else? I think I'm going to go up towards the pink house and see if there's anything going on. Oh, hell no, you're not. <laughs> you son of a bitch. We'll leave you here. Uh, Haggis, you're I'm going to, towards I'm, the high ground. I'm with telling Robert. you right now, we will leave you here. <laughs> I just want to point out the pink house burnt to the ground. All right, so I'm going to see whatever's left. They're, maybe they've rebuilt overnight. <laughs> maybe know. there's a. I still, uh, Copious, I think we should check Georgina's, see if there's any more of those tablets right, that come in let's handy. Let's try to go to Georgina's. Okay. Haggis, you're going to be the fastest one. As you reach the top tier where the burnt crops are and the dead uh, ring of thorns is, Give me a perception check. And now's a bad time to fumble. Oh. 15 minutes. Okay. Everybody, all of you, hear absolute carnage. It's like watching Titanic on volume 100. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the screams are unbelievable. Haggis, as you reach the top tier, the path to the rock outcropping is clear until thunk. This black oily tentacle tears part of the cliff down, trapping the entire populace of Light Reach out on this open cliff. <laughs> Along with the screams and yelling, <laughs> Felix and Haggis, <laughs> since you were on the top tier, you're here in water and it's coming. <laughs> uh, Haggis. You can try and save some people, but that oily tentacle is between you and them. Uh, as you get to the top and see the tentacle out in the distance, the harbor god has increased his power and a tsunami is headed right for the wall. Uh, now that it has been structurally compromised, Give me a wisdom check. I, I just want to point out, if you, wanted, if you wanted to end the campaign, Frank, we could have just stopped like <laughs> <laughs> uh, At least two people are going to survive. <laughs> 14. Man, it feels like he's trying to end this one. Like, I'm done with these jokers. Or 15, uh, actually. 
Oh, you guys haven't even considered what I'm doing to your ship right now. I oh, know. The I the like Pierre, the we didn't even get cannons yet. Well, uh-huh. you kill Pierre and Phineas, I don't yeah. give a shit. I just oh, keep no. thinking about the ship and the zonkies. The zonkies. <laughs> oh, my elvish painting. I guess you're, you're pretty sure hell's coming. It's, <laughs> it's coming fast. Uh, Felix, as you reach the pink house, a tear falls down your cheek. You hear the screams. Look over and see the tentacle just ripping rock away from the cliff. Uh, you see Haggis has not made it across to see the carnage firsthand. Uh, but you can tell something's bad is coming. And since you are taller, holy shit, that's a big wall of water coming this way. I'm going to make like the quickest decision I can and see if I can calculate and estimate how high that water is going to come. Do I keep, I'm going to keep going up if I think that I'll be safe. It looks like it's going to wipe the halflings off like a chalkboard. Wow. I can't help but feel a little responsible for this. <laughs> yeah, I don't... What if we go with the rowboat? You know, we have a rowboat on the other side. Oh, you're going to see that rowboat. <laughs> Are my, is everyone else in the party still within earshot? Yes, they are we're one tier below. Tier. We're on I'm going to yell to them because I think they're just right below me. I got the drawing here. Yeah, we're right below you. Yell, <laughs> tsunami and or whatever equivalent Ooh. point I'm out that Ooh. way. Hopefully, you guys <laughs> train. Mommy? Your mommy. Your mommy. Stop. Yell, yell train. <laughs> just like in uh, Stand By Me. Uh, I'll yell it as slow as possible. So we got. Haggis, we've got uh, Felix. Uh, where's George Gina? It's the, right, right, there. right there at the apothecary. There, uh, where is Robert and Man Fang? Robert's actually up where Felix was. Yeah, okay. they both went up. Okay. And so nobody knows where Noodle is. Priscilla, we'll just say he's with us, I guess. Yeah, I'll okay. go. Uh, so Felix, you're yelling, Leaf, copious. Let's see if you hear him. <laughs> give, me right. per- give me a perception. Nat 20. <laughs> 19. Did he, did he just say tsunami? <laughs> what, what's a tsunami? I have no idea. Something about his mommy? Is that the name of the girl that he was with, with the gift master? <laughs> Pastrami? 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 Hot body? Did you say okay. hot body? Do we hear the roar? Nope, because you are one tier down, and that rock face currently blockades the noise. <laughs> but I, so, and we don't see the tentacle either. Nope, we don't hear the crushing. But we see uh, Felix clearly trying to get our attention. Oh yeah, all Point right. As day, the tentacle is wiping out up that up section. Up. Copious, go ahead and, and get the pills, and I'll see what he wants. Yeah, <laughs> nice try there, Leaf. I'm running my ass up the stairs as fast as I can, and I move slow because I'm a gnome. You, you might see uh, Felix standing there, but my ass is up in the field and keep on trucking inland. I'm a long-legged elf, and I'm passing copious on the way up the stairs. You need yeah, to push exactly. him down. <laughs> they aren't seeing Kick Felix. They're the seeing a cloud-shaped dust. Down the stairs. Uh, oh, oh, okay, let's go with the two low ones. Give me dexterity rolls. Make sure you don't botch this really good. All right. You, you don't Ooh. have to destroy uh, the uh, sea god. You just have to I tried hard 18. to botch it, but I didn't. Uh, you guys are running as, as you reach the flight of stairs. You hear the roar. The screams are just ear piercing. You will not sleep for many, many months. You want to bet? Hearing, <laughs> are you sure about that? Hearing the sounds of the screams uh, of wait pain. A minute. Are these halfling screams? Yes. I hey, sleep like a baby. <laughs> I'm uh, having a lullaby. So Cody is it, imagining he hears the, the, the mistress and, and Petra's screams. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'll hear them. What? So the, I, I don't think I was here when we got the pills that made us fast underwater, but the place where we got that from is still, the building's still intact, right? It, That's yeah. where they were headed. So if we go there, we can just raid everything. and then... Yeah, well, look at the wall of water coming in the bay. Well, if we take a pill, what, Haggis, you go do that. I'll be in lane. 
No, you don't have time to come back there. Hoggis, you're going to be doing homework for the next multiple Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is it is clear the problem is uncontrollable. Everybody In roll imminent. perception check. Oh, yay. Perception. Oh, boy. 22. 11. 19. 17. I did a spike on the roll. All right. And I think I you got know. a four. Yeah, that's a 15. Yeah. 15 again. I'm doing high roller. I know. Nice. Uh, big uh, copious, uh, you're just saying to yourself, got to move, got to move, got to move, got to move, got to move. Uh, Hagas, you don't see it. Everybody else sees the water just come up, shoot straight up the rock face. A little rowboat. <laughs> <laughs> crashes into the uh, cove, which is filling with water at an astronomical speed. The, ca the uh, cliff face is shaking violently, and you can see several people falling into the water and into the buildings on this side as the halflings are washed over by the harbor god's sea stroke. Uh, Copious and Leaf are humping ass to get high enough. Everybody else is on the top level or in the grass. Uh, give me intelligence checks, everybody. Oh, oh bother, Frankie. I'm not even everybody or just there's high up? You know what? Just for shits and giggles, go ahead and roll. Uh, 13. 13. Well, that's a three. Three <laughs> twenty. Seven. That's all right. I'm not much better. He actually rolled better than me in the end. I rolled so, two. He got three. Leave, leave Copious and Hoggis. You need to get to the grass. Uh, Felix, you're pretty good here on the third level. Uh, Robert and Priscilla. Uh, yeah, I thought you were running for the fields anyways. Yeah, this isn't so bad. You might want to go hang out at the pink house with Felix and maybe gut stuff. Uh, copious haggis and leaf no way as the protective cove is coming down uh, and there are halflings falling to their deaths the screams are lessening as more and more drown or bash into the rock levels. <laughs> I'm a yell at Felix I'm going to tell Felix I don't know what the hell you think you're doing we need to get higher or you're going to die, too. On. Keep going, Felix. Come on. Come Sorry. On. Yeah. All right. Let's go. The water is increasing and coming up each level, destroying all in its path, flooding the cove, pulling down Georgina's, pulling down the burnt remains of the pawn shop. The Chapel of Lear uh, is destroyed uh, completely on the second level. Uh, the water <laughs> is charging... Uh very quickly up to the third level. Felix, you were the only one on the third level and you're watching just shit get real. The protective ring of cliffs mm -hmm. is gone. Mm -hmm. I really think we need a fresh new start. Wait, does that mean Rodrigo's gone. tower's gone? Rodrigo and his tower are gone. Yeah, so Felix wants to run now. Give me a dex check. You know, Man Fang, we need to find his body. He had some nice armor, probably fit you. I did not have nice armor. I have bad news for you. No, you but I did that. roll an 11 on my dexterity. Uh, you get up just as water licks the left boot uh, as you clear onto the grass. <laughs> the water comes up over the lip of the grass and starts to recede. I'm going to look at Leaf and say, that Lear's a pissy little dick. Oh, you tell me. <laughs> the tentacles are dragging halflings down into the sea. Even little bastards hey, are getting what they deserve right hey, there. Wait, just, I want to make sure there's at least one halfling that's not being dragged down, right? Haggis, you mean? Yes, that's the ha that's ha Haggis is safe. Okay. Am I going to be the only halfling that lives? Like the Titanic, really much. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, as everything starts to crumble, six of you. Copious, 
you're almost certain you see Rodrigo standing bravely as the water washes over him, just staring dead eyes at you. This is in the worker salute, too. He's going to spend the rest of his life hunting that one armed man. He's probably not undead. <laughs> uh, 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 Everybody roll investigation. Well, that, well, that one, dude. <coughs> What's to investigate? This place has been wiped clean. 21. Six. That was a great roll, but I have 30, 20, 10, 14, 10. Uh, Felix? 12. Copious leaf as the protective cliffs have been sundered by the blast of water, you both spot something that looks kind of familiar. It's a, piece of, it's a piece of wood with a spike on it, but it's irregularly shaped piece of wood like it's debris. Oops. The spike looks like it was might have been part of your ship. <laughs> Hey guys, I found a ship. <laughs> Did you find any of the zonkies? <laughs> <laughs> you know oh. that ship wasn't gonna last. And, you know yeah. what? I, I actually had, like I said, four four different tracks, and in two of them, the ship survived. Um, but it was sucked out to sea. We never saw it again. The the good news is, Copious and Leaf, you also see that whale. In the cove, oh, so the whale is okay. We could take the whale. Okay. We could drive cool. the whale. Well, I could, has the water received all the way back down the tiers? It's going to be on tier two because there's no protective ring on the cove. Do we see anything that floats left on the? A lot of debris. A lot of bodies. I'm going to suggest no to boats the group here that once uh, no. we um, why don't we. Why don't we just establish a camp and rest? Because we're all, we've all had the hell beat out of us. Yeah. There's nothing left alive. A nice uh, long rest. I don't know. I have an idea. No. Uh, <laughs> I I want to see if we can get to the the ship. Um, we know what you want to do to the bodies, Felix. And the answer is no. Well, actually, that didn't cross my mind we until now. I have two together. ideas. I think we should go down and look for survivors, and kill anybody that survived that. That so that we can fun. come back here when they rebuild. I like this place. <laughs> they will rebuild. <laughs> it's like, <right. laughs> oh, yeah, let's go. Kill all the survivors. Oh, the first first saying we, uh, this is a black ops. <laughs> this is a black ops situation here. <sighs> no if we want to come back, we need to make we sure are, they don't remember us at all. You know, we just happen to show up with that. We now are I don't know why you took a last sane party member off your title on the. Because <laughs> Felix is no longer, he's <laughs> off in the deep end now. Our new well, name I'm is Steel oh. Our new name is Steel Team Six. We'll just make so, that was that a no one killing the remaining oh, survivors? I'm all about it. Let you know, no, no, no survivors. We don't want this to get back to the capital because we're going to have to walk. Wait, wait, wait. You guys are right totally missing capital. an opportunity here. We're the heroes that saved. The survivors. What are you talking about? Here. There's an opportunity here. If I don't get to kill more halflings, <laughs> Haggis is going to get stabbed in sleep. <laughs> I appreciate the opportunity, but my <laughs> fear <laughs> is that this has happened before and they will remember that we are the ones that started this. No, I, I think know. if we didn't start this, the Red Vest started it because the God got tired and angry because they kept stealing his gold. And here's the thing. Why did he, if they kept stealing everything, why did he decide to destroy the town when we took a handful of stuff? We gave you the silver. A handful of stuff? As I recall, we gave 97% of that stuff right back to the Yeah, <laughs> we gave 97% back to it. Yes, we That's did. That's a higher percentage of those stealing. What happened, though, We he wanted man fang, and we wouldn't let him have it. I'm just well, it's not too late. It's I not, the mirrors. And <laughs> like any other petulant child god, he got angry because he didn't get his way. See, you, had, you had four ways. Going back into town, no, that ship's not going to go. Going out, 
the way you came in, that ship may survive for the time being. <laughs> that was I. Once those tentacles started coming out, I thought we were screwed if we went through the water. Awesome. I wasn't worried about tentacles in the water. It was the mucus because if you look up that damn thing that we killed, that mucus will uh, it'll rot your body, and you've got to have a sixth level cleric or something to heal it or healer, and you have to stay in water. You got to stay in the water all the time too, and I could just see him doing that to us. You so, mean that mucus that I'm still covered over with? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to wash that off. Felix is going to go wash himself off. Well, there's it's, plenty of water. Oh, here, yeah. let me let me do it for you, Frank. Roll why, why are you washing that off? Why don't you stab some halflings and make sure they're all dead? I'm, all right, yeah, I was going to say, right, I'm going right. to go down Felix, there. And... Felix, why don't you make sure you don't have to pee first? <laughs> oh, God. So is the water covering the second level or up to the second level? It is covering the second level up to the third level. Uh, it will recede, uh, but it will take several hours, and the first level is gone. So I will go with Felix to see what's on down the third level. Yeah, I want to go see the third level, too. If they're uh, survivors, though, I'm not planning on killing them. Sure. Uh, there are no survivors. I didn't <laughs> think so. This seems like a total <laughs> let's scratch the town off the map kind of yeah, Felix you, agrees. You know what? I, I, I'm going to be kind of a dick here. <laughs> oh, you think? Everybody roll a d20 against Damn. me. Okay. All right, let me roll a d20. Let's see how this 17. Goes. 13. Never mind. I roll a 20. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one time, you jerk, that I roll a 17, and you take it away from me. Yeah, I, I was going to give... Anybody who beat me, their zonky back swimming. Oh, that, oh. Is, uh, that is a nat 20, so. That's all right. Hell, we only wrote, we only wrote those things once. <laughs> they yeah, were actually... now you're on foot. <laughs> yeah, I wanted my zonky. Well, I guess I know what spell I'll be taking if I ever get a chance to go. No, to I'll take, hey, copious, I'll turn into a zonky and let you ride me a little bit. Would that make you feel better? Well, well that, that does not really sound good That's, that is not sound right. <laughs> right. Uh, uh. At, yeah, um, let you ride me. Oh, at no. least we have miners in the party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do it for you, Frank. What what what'd you do this weekend? Oh, I got to ride my grandpa. And donkey yeah. style. <laughs> I went to uh, a dog grandpa and... like a donkey. Yeah. Uh, yeah, your wives are never gonna let you guys play with me again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think so... you've come to accept the twistedness of this group. That's yeah, what happens. Uh so the top level was sparsely populated because that was the ritzy area. We're going to go to the armor shop. Shop? What shop? Right here. The 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 third level. No, yeah, but we just had a water tsunami came through here. I assume it... Did it take the shop away, the third level? There are no buildings present. Okay. None, none whatsoever. Any debris there where the weapon there shop was There is a at? shitload of debris floating, including bodies. But I'm talking about on a third level, nothing laying there, laying around. Uh, D12 against me. The reason I'm asking, because I told uh, uh, nine. Eleven. Uh, nope. nope. Uh, some wood debris, uh, some structural sure. debris. Uh <laughs> Um, did you ever get your picture? You got your picture back, didn't you, Felix? Yes. But yeah, it was it on the call. There's a hole damage in the mouth. to it. There's uh, a hole uh, in so it. it got fixed by the end of the episode between Lee and uh, Robert. It was fixed. <clears throat> it was, no, it was fully there, fixed. There was, the mouth was missing. Hold it, hold paper. it. But it, it was on the ship. Oh. Oh, yep. you guys have oh, a lot of shit. On that just, ship. To, just to be clear, that copy was on the ship. True. Well, I'm going to sit down with Robert and sing a little song, play my harmonica. And there is a picture of Copious that was recovered in the treasure trove. Yes. I I want to I want to find a way to get out of yeah, exactly. our our ship and see what re- what's in the wreckage we can recover. We had a ton of money in that ship. We had a ton of gear, including some magic items. Yeah. And, and my admiral's hat's out there, and it deserves a, <laughs> it deserves a burial. It's a- so you're not. We wanted a fresh start. Now I'm just going to be straight up. 
it, my guess is, is the fact that the ship crashed against the uh, wall on the other side of the cove and those black tentacles that seem to really like to grab gold money and all that, I figured they probably sucked all that down into the little mirror hole. Well, that, well, if that's the case, we know where it's at. We can go get it. Okay. Into the mirror hole? Now, yeah. keep, keep in mind two things. Sean uh, Connery owns that shit now. This is where the tentacles were at and everybody died. This is the approximate location of your ship. This pincer was also sundered in the uh, horrific blast that probably was heard from several miles away. I think we need to go out. If there's a wreckage under the ground and the ship is sitting okay. on the wreckage of that rock, there's a chance we could recover some. It's worth taking a look. I can go out and look. <clears throat> you want to transform into a shark and get out there? Yeah, I can do that. Be careful with all this debris, though, if you do that. I ain't worried about debris. I'm worried about the tentacles. Swim fast. I, I can do that. I can convert and swim out and see if I can see our ship or what's left of it. Okay. I will do that. <clears throat> Give me a survival check times three, Leaf. All right. That's hey, a I plus found eight. this weird device in the top of this water. It's got like these so three things here. Oh. 24. And 18. You managed to uh, swim around the debris. Looks a lot like a Star Trek film. Uh, but you get down to the approximate location. Give me a nature check. Let's see if you know the approximate location since the landscape has changed so drastically. Yeah, it's my nature. Natural 20. Ooh. Uh, you find the wreckage of the Pisterus. It has been sundered substantially by the avalanche of rock. Uh, now, give me a percentage roll. Does he see the bodies of the crew? That's what we're going to check on. Okay. Uh, 33. One third of the ship, the vessel, is under tonnage of rocks. Now give me a D6 to see forward, middle, or rear. One. Well, uh, the front portion of the ship has been trapped under rocks. Uh, Dude, that'd be the admiral's quarters, wouldn't it? No, no, no. No, no, no. Quarters. That's the back. The back nope. is... <laughs> the back is the zonkies. Ah, the zonkies may be alive. Uh, D12 against me, Leaf. I thought he already rolled up. Oh, God. He, uh, he beats me on his damn D12 roll. Eleven. Four. Uh, in the wreckage is you are a hunter shark. Phineas Latrec. Dead. dead. Dead is dead is Lincoln. I'm gonna eat oh, him. I do have <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Hey Leah. And this uh, is how Leaf dies. He chokes on Phineas. I don't him. care. <laughs> And you know what? For shits and giggles and to mess with copious, D12 against me again. Uh, eight. You find copious is hat swimming around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat that too. Or, or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you found do, I the see, do I see that satchel? Uh, you're going to have to go inside and they will. I can't do that in this form. No. You're going to have to wait till that water recedes, maybe no. right. a week. Yeah. You know what? Let, that let, well, but let me let me roll please, here. If you come if you come back and we can find something to get out to the wreck with water breathing, and then we can just check it. Well, I can cast that spell, right but I got to rest. I got to rest for doing I mean. that. Crap. Come back. We spend the night. Rest up. Right. Find let a way to get out. Right, I, I can do that. Let Cody ride you like the whale. Shh. It's going to take four days for the water to recede down to the first level. First level is a total loss. Uh, it is never yeah. going to recover. Uh, the uh, cliffs diving in on the second floor have pretty much destroyed everything there, but it's not going to be waterlogged. First level and cove, completely waterlogged. The environment has changed drastically. Right. After four days, you can pretty much assume that 
all debris, all bodies have either floated and bloated or been eaten. <laughs> well, and that's the other thing you're going to have to pay attention to. There might be uh, marauders coming in for that. Most certainly the black tentacles will probably not return uh, because Lear's will has been done. I'm going to swim back to where the guys are at. So, okay. I'm and gonna... right before I come out of the water, I'm going to puke up the hat, regurgitate Phineas in the hat. <laughs> then I'll go. change back. So, oh, hold on a second. Hey, man, Fang, there's a shark coming up on you. <laughs> and I punch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's vomited up Phineas's head or face, yeah, Dr. Electra. The head. That's enough. As, as well as some kind of crushed cloth that used to be a tricorn hat. Yeah. And I, I will revert back and I'll say, hey, Copius, I found your hat. And I'll pull it out and throw it to him. And Robert found something for you, too. And I'm going to throw the head at Robert. Nice. So I'm going to smack at it with my long sword and see if I can bat it back at him. Sure. Hit it. <laughs> Eight. So that's 22. Yeah, we're playing a little baseball now. Hell that yeah. We've oh. uh, committed genocide <laughs> on Light Reach. <laughs> Everybody. Uh, At least we're going did, to hail. Is enough of the ship undestroyed that we may find some of our. The, our the, goods bow, here. the bow of the ship is crushed when the, when the cliff came down. It's, it's under the rocks. And I couldn't get inside and rest the ship in this form. It's going to have to wait on the water to recede before we can get in there and, and see what else is left. But so I don't forward, think anybody survived that. The forward third is destroyed. Correct. So the best got, third, guess, well, How long were we here? I reach. Oh, about two days. Well, from the time we've been That's here. That's how long it takes us to destroy a town and commit but, inside. I'm just, I'm just curious <laughs> how they're like but coming into the island like do you think we remember any boats coming in and leaving like if that was daily no nope. no just fishing skiffs little fishing boats they weren't ships they were little boats mm -hmm. you're cutting out your your mic cut off Agus. we could get a your mic's breaking Agus. your mic's breaking Agus. your mic's not working <laughs> fix it dummy Plug it back in. It sounds like the jack is loose. Pull it out, lick it a little bit, and then put it back in. Ignore the robber. I don't know. Uh, try again. Yeah, I think we can hear right you. Right there. We got you. Talk. Talk. Oh. Say something. Better? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, if a fishing boat comes in, let's kill everyone on it and take the boat. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Whatever. so too late. That idea. I guess. Of course, you know we could wait for the Marauders to show up on their ship and get a warhead. Take it or but the ghost ship. It. Everybody in a hundred miles would have heard this sooner or later. Somebody's going to come to see what happened. We don't have much time that we can be here. We need to get away from this area. We so need either. to get our stuff. Here's the story. We were say just. Calmly sailing out here on our way down to whatever the next land is. And we got caught in this tidal wave, drove us into this cliff, sunk our ship. I, we don't need to do any of that. We just need to get the hell out of here. Well, that's going to be our story. Happened, like, we got to go overland to get the hell out of here. Well, we can go overland. We got to have a story when we go. What story? Nobody's going to know we were at light reach. Yeah, no, it's will. dead. Hey, Except there's, there's, there's those paintings a of you. And a, bat, a war between this halfling shit and the people to the south. Leaf, is there any reason for us to stay here to go back out to the ship or not? Are we yeah, to get, get our stuff off of it. I want that satchel. What satchel are you talking about? I'm talking about Pierre's, Pierre's satchel. Pierre's, Pierre's satchel. satchel. Damn right. All right, so let's... Are, but we're going to camp. The, spend the night first, right? Yeah. So let's spend the night Try to rest up, for goodness sake, and then figure out how to get out to the ship. There should be yeah. enough debris here that we can cobble something together that will float to get over there, right? 
Bodies. Yeah. You, you can you can strap bodies together. Quickmire yeah. is a demilitarized zone right there between Ashana and Thornfield. Correct. So how did we seem to traipse across? When we hit that area, they're gonna how'd you get on this side of the uh, line? Because we don't really only one of us looks like a halfling. Now remember, you still have the Briar Patch, aka Thornfield. Uh, between you and the demilitarized zone. Right, right. And obviously there's, uh, this is a small village. It's not on any real map. Uh, you're probably going to find other small villages not on the map. Yeah. And we can burn those down too. I, I was thinking we could go a little under the radar to get through Thornfield, <laughs> the capital of Halfling Land, <clears throat> which has really good roads. Well, after we pass, it, wait, I wait. it was on fire. Won't we make our way around the, along the sea seaside? I know it's like up on the cliff, but we could make our way around around it that way and try to work our way up to quick fire and through. Well, we can use the story that we were shipwrecked, but let's let's leave yeah. off the whole light breach debacle. Let's what? sleep first, so we all, you know. Oh yeah. All right. Morning or search the every. We can do well, that, and we don't. Uh, we don't have to wait on the water to go down. I can go back out and I mean, I can do a breathe underwater spell and we can swim down and see if we can get into the ship. Well, but you've used up your spell slots. Most of us are. Ahead. Yeah, I can't do it now. I got to rest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, yeah, yeah, there's there's no survivors here. I don't think resting for the night is going to be no. any issue. Uh -uh. Perfect. Rest for the night, and then Absolutely. first light, let's head out to the ship. There's enough debris. Right. You don't have to go by yourself, Leaf. Let's make sure we take a couple, folks. In case you <coughs> There's enough debris. We can raft, make a raft out of it. I still have one of my tablets for breathing underwater. I only use the okay. one. I've got well, one, too. So we could just I've put got a one couple of boards on the little squirrel man's feet and make him ride surf on the back of you. What? What? What were you saying? A Medusa? Medusa? <laughs> Medusa. I said copious, the little squirrel. We can attach some of the debris boards to his feet and have him surf behind holding on to the uh jet ski. Oh yeah, that. I could turn into a dolphin and pull you across the water. Yeah. And no, uh, not hardly. But earlier right. he said he could ride. Hey, for right like now, let's bed down. Let's just bed down and rest. Yeah, sounds good. That way everybody can heal up. And... That's what I want. I just right. wow, I feel that's so cool. empowered when I woke up. Yeah, Let me too. cast that's, a spell. That's, that's the plan. Is there any uh, uh, crops growing up here that are worth eating? Uh, talk to Frank some, some that he didn't um, burn. Just, just, just okay. Do I, get, do I get rid of the necrotic damage? <laughs> I'm going to scrounge up something to eat, guys. Long, long rest, you will get rid of the necrotic. Then I will take a long rest. All right. So everybody's going to take a long rest tonight, right? Yes. So are you going to set up? Uh, picket watch just to make sure there aren't any dire wolves or any of that shit. I think oh. we have to. Oh, I don't mind. Um, Rodrigo up. was staring at, back at us. He's still alive. That sucker's still alive somewhere. I All could right, take a uh, first watch. I'm not taking anyone. First watch. Well, <clears throat> anybody who takes a watch uh, will notice that the water is slowly receding. Uh, All right. as, as the moon is at one quarter headed towards full moon, Robert, <laughs> uh, you will have enough light <laughs> on the high rise to see uh, the, the devastation is horrible. You do not hear any sounds of screaming or crying, but every once in a while you hear the body. as a bloated body uh, rams into debris. The following morning, you are all Six level heroes. with a straight face. Wow. Um, so uh, you will level up. Uh, the following morning, everybody give me a perception check. 14. 18. 18. 14. I don't even count it. 20, 30. Robert Haggis and 
leaf, I think. Uh, notice uh, the next morning as the sun rises over the complete and utter devastation of Light Reach, you notice that the cliff rocks still sticking out of the water form a double L, like Lear. <laughs> Uh, yes. the Clear, water has okay. that, that shit's a little creepy. Yeah, the water has receded to about halfway down to the second level. So half of the second level is still submerged. Uh, but it is going to take a few more days for it to rest on the entire first tier. Uh, the debris, the bloated bodies, the mosquitoes are, are all prevalent in the area of decimation because all those bloated bodies are already collecting sturges and insects. Uh, who wants to roll against me to see if there's any sharks in the water? Leaf does. Oh, e 12, Leaf. I 12. 12. 12, re-roll. Three. <laughs> Two. <Hey! laughs> no, no sharks in the water at this time. Except for one. <clears throat> just well he hasn't changed back yet so uh, no. how do you guys want to investigate the wreckage of the Edmund Fitzgerald I'm a little big I'll stay here yeah, I've got a tablet somebody can use I, I have a tablet but if we if we if we're looking down at the debris if there's anything that seems like it will float enough to use to go out with we should be able to get enough we can lash together and make well, that's a raft right i'm thinking we should be able to piece something together as a raft or a portion of raft give me a survival check hey frank let me ask this uh, uh -huh. if they're trying to build something together can you use men to, to kind of mend it into Okay, just one double check. So good good Leaf, question, but no. Leaf, I think you're our best survivalist. You want to do a see if you can build a yeah. rude lathe and then fashion a ship? 19. Sure, you make a pontoon boat out of dead halfling bloated corpses and worse for me. <laughs> Perfect. It, uh, it's we probably got some wine barrels and shit we can use, you know, if you think about it. Well, remember the Vintners was blown up. Oh, that's, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> but you might be able to find some half barrels. Okay. You know, but we can oh. lash something together to sure. paddle out. All right. Maybe you know, some of the bed frames from... Who, uh, who else is going with us? Well, I, Copius is going... Felix? You know. Yeah. Okay. okay. So tell me what you, are, what you are specifically looking for and what you are openly looking for uh, specifically uh, number one the first thing i'm going to do when it, if, if we can get into it all right it just make sure there's not an air pocket with somebody surviving in it sure. we're going to look for the satchel i carry my crap with me so i'm not yeah i don't have anything that i specifically am looking for mine because i carry it with me in my pouch there okay. there were besides money obviously or yeah some of the other um um, things like that, jewels or what have you. We would still be looking for that shell, the magic shell from the creature we killed. That's one. Uh, and then if by some miracle it survived my elvish painting. That was in the magic uh, scroll tube, right? N no, because I think it was framed, wasn't it? <clears throat> I thought it had a frame on it when we bought it. No, oh, that, yeah. oh that, that that one, yeah, it had a frame on it. Yeah, so that one, if by some miracle it popped out, oh, we need our cartographer's uh, thing too. No, I have all that. That's on. You got that? Okay. Yeah, that's all on me. The scroll case. Man, thing, you got your shell. Yes, he wears. Yeah, I got it on me. All, all the right. maps and everything all I really had that was like any value to me. It was okay. the shell. We'll get to uh, pick up whatever gold we can easily get to gold and jewels that have been left in there. Satchel, money, jewels, magic shell, painting. Anything Robert, else? Robert, anything you... You can have I that loot. If we, you, need, you can have that loot we found in the cave for your, your bards. I that. Okay, bardsmanship. That'll it, work. The rations that were delivered to ship, we specifically had the water filtration uh, screens. 
if any of that stuff is still available, we try to find it. Yeah. I think everything else. We sold a lot of the, uh, yeah, we sold a, a, lot of, a lot of stuff. So that should about do it. Yeah, because the other the other handful of items I had on me. Well, Pretty much anything uh, we, we could carry, we did. So that's not a problem. Gotcha. All, All right. right. So well, my, my cane probably wasn't with me since when we went back to steal stuff from Lear. So he, he would definitely go back see if I said, <laughs> I assume that was that in my, my smoking jacket. I assume we're in the captain's quarters with my painting. Correct. Uh, okay. So I got Leaf, Copious, and, <laughs> and Felix. Felix. Uh, who else is going? <laughs> Haggis, you going? Okay, so Haggis. Uh, okay, so is, is everybody going underneath his water breathing spell, or are two of you using the pellets, or how are you doing this? I, I'm going to reserve the pellet if I can. Yeah, we can use water breathing spell. Okay, so you take your halfling pontoon boat out there, and you uh, get there without an issue. Your nat 20 will... Uh, abundantly stick in your head as to where it's at. You can go ahead and moor the boat on the avalanche uh, and then you can look down into the waters which have started to clear and you can see the skeletal remains of your boat. So what I need from each of you uh, one at a time is a d12 roll. I'll start with leaf. Uh, Felix. Eight. <laughs> uh, copious. <laughs> and Haggis. Eleven. Uh, try again. Me roll again. Mm -hmm. okay. Three. Very nice. Uh, okay, as you reach the spot and dive, 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 Leaf, uh, you find the other rowboat still functional. Copious. Under, under the water, right? Under the water, but you can tip it over and mm -hmm. it'll float. Copious, you have found Pierre clutching his satchel. Alive or dead? He's dead. Ah, uh, good. Felix, you have found an undamaged box of copious bitters primary yes. brew. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And Haggis, you have found the magic shell. What? It's it, the it magic hell. shell you found a uh, few adventures ago. So, uh, giant shell. Snail. What does it do? It's magical. It's a giant snail shell, basically. You guys don't know yet. Yeah, we don't know what it does yet. So, who wants to roll percentage on wealth? I'll, I'll do will. it. I'll do okay. it. Okay. I'll, no, I'll no. gladly do it. I'll ah. do it. Ooh. 25. 25% of your gold and gem holdings has been recovered. Roll 97 on what we lose to the sea god and 25 on a... <laughs> uh, yeah, and I, and I rolled a 100. Uh, copious, you'll roll against me. You'll roll... Everybody from here on out rolls a d12. I'm rolling a d20 because uh, this is the recovery of the other items. So your painting, copious, roll your d12... Three, uh, you find it, it's going to need some restoration, but you find <laughs> it okay. Uh, it was floating on top in the rowboat section of the lost rowboat. Uh, the cane. Felix, go ahead and roll against me. You D12, I D20. Uh, the cane will never be found. Damn. Uh, anymore. Haggis, same roll. A D12? Yep. yep. Got a 14. 
I got two. You will not find the body of Tony Dakota. Eh. Uh, yeah. He's a side character. Nobody ever knew. I was going to eat him. Uh, Leaf, your turn. Well, we already found a satchel. That's all I wanted. <laughs> yeah, but we have like 400 tons of. I know. I know. I'm rolling. 10. Nine. You find the water screens that you paid for. Oh, cool. Uh, back to Copious. Eight. Seven. You find Pierre dead. Uh, last but not least, Felix. Nine. Four. Roll a d6. You find the body of Buttercup. Four. Four zonkeys have survived. <gasps> Sweet. Now. Which one? Which one? It's coming. Roll a d6, Felix, for the first one. Four. Hoggis's <laughs> zonkey is okay. Roll again. Two. Leaf's zonkey <laughs> is okay. No. Mine must roll be. again. Mine's a survivor. The four. Reroll. Reroll. It's another floor. Okay, your murder hobo dice are broke. <laughs> <laughs> One. Buttercup is alive. Yes! Yes! <laughs> last, last roll. Three. Copiuses ah! is alive. I <laughs> They, they <laughs> will need healed. You'll be hearing from my manager. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. <laughs> the dice giveth, the dice, dice taketh take away. away. Boy, did they take away today. Well, here's my question. Did the lizard make it? No. Oh. The lizard went down with its owners. Pierre was riding that lizard down into the satchel. The lizard's in the satchel? No, the lizard was next to the satchel. <laughs> uh, so there you go, boys and girls. Right. Uh, we got the robo. We can push it up to the surface. Or as Man Fang pointed out, you can Johnny Depp it. And Pirates no, of the Caribbean. Hey, doing that Johnny Depp move shit. I we'll see if we can get it flipped over. We have to get the zonkeys back to shore. Yeah. Uh, hence the boat. The boat will allow you to load them up, and you only two swim. zonkeys can fit in the boat. Choose. That's true. So you're gonna have to make two trips. First trip's free. Second trip, who's rolling against me to see if there's sharks in the water? No, and and is anybody staying with the other two zonkeys? Well, I will. Not my zonkey. Ten. Let's come up with some shit. Kill Fair me. enough. Uh, the first two zonkeys make it ashore. Uh, who is piloting that craft? Not me. Felix. Felix. Yeah. Well, I guess he took Buttercup. <laughs> You're damn right I took Buttercup. You know what? No, I don't think he should get Buttercup because his character name now says Rest in Peace Buttercup. So I think it should just die on the way. Oh, man, it does, doesn't it? I, I, think, I think she is going to rest in peace as she continues to breathe. <laughs> uh, so, right. change that shit. Felix, are you taking out the boat again? Um, no, I ferried Buttercup what? to the shore. <laughs> oh, you, your ass gonna die. <laughs> well, I, I, assumed, well, you, I assumed Haggis went with him and Haggis is bringing the boat back. I, Haggis, are you gonna take the boat back? Because <laughs> you got Leaf and Copious, and they're two zonkeys sitting out on a rock. If we push, there. if we push the boat in the direction, it will eventually get there. No, right? We'll just take the boat back. I'll stay here with Buttercup and calm her down. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Buttercup. Right. 
All right, watch my zonkey. I'm going to go. Cup won't be I'll watch your zonkey for you. Uh, Haggis, uh, the water's getting a little bit treacherous, uh, a little bit choppy. Uh, every once in a while, you're pretty sure you hear something. Uh, you arrive without issue back with Copious and Leaf. The hell, man? What took you so long? Uh, load up the zonkeys. Now, there we're going to take be, the raft. There can only be one. Oh, okay. So you're using the raft. Yeah, so we'll take the raft. Let him take the don zonkeys. Okay, fair enough. There are no predators because okay. I rolled a two. Uh, you, you make it back to the mainland, uh, Robert and Man Fang. <laughs> uh, where are mine? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to tell Robert the good news? I will. Your zonky died and drowned. Man Fang, yours did too. Thanks for that. You know, the your needs right are on. like the needs of a person. Wait, 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 wait. You know. Let's be, this is an adventuring troop. Let's be clear. It is a priority, Robert and Noodle, that will pay a portion of the price of a new amount for you out of party funds. Absolutely. The first available opportunity. They well, the will never be as nice as that unique zonkey you had, Noodle. That ever, true. ever. You'll never have anything as good as that again in your entire life. <laughs> but we'll get you some broke back here. <laughs> but I'm going to say, but only... to get no... hey, um, how hard would it be to get no right in the nuts? But on the bright hard, side, on the bright side, Pierre's dead too. <laughs> I don't care. I want my zonkey. So is Tony Dakota. Nobody warns him. I did. I said it's Tony Dakota bad. barely even said two words this whole track. Yeah. By, by the way, all of that oh. Maui Wowie. All the Maui Wowie was on the ship with Tony I know. Dakota. I know. And all oh. that bitters. No, nope. bitters got saved. We have a team oh, of bitters. That's right. That's right. Now, the, the Felix found copious bitters. Leaf found the rowboat. Haggis found the magic shell. Copious found the satchel. 25% of the money was recovered. The elvish painting was recovered somehow. Uh, the cane was lost. Tony Dakota lost. Uh, the water screens, which will save your ass, uh, was found. Pierre was found dead. And uh, four of six zonkeys were recovered. So all things considered, and the satchel was recovered. So all things considered, not a total loss unless you are from light reach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. In which case. Well, you know what? I got my wish. That's all that mattered. We didn't burn it down, but we sure took care of it. So, so now you're taking credit for it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Light reach? Never been there. Is it nice? <laughs> Never met her. <laughs> Never met her. Uh, I think this is an now. This will take you most of day two. So yeah, that's fun. Just so you know, uh, I assume Robert and Man Fang were making a camp or something, collecting as much usable material as they could, or were they just hanging out, sunning themselves? Fuck Mostly these assholes. Being... I'm sunning myself. Use your zonkey to make a camp, bitches. I see where somebody's going to be a big baby about this zonkey thing. Oh, only for the first couple of days. Ignore the 600 dead bloated halflings. Robert's missing his damn zonkey. That's, that's the real crime here. You know, I didn't get to burn shit down damage. and my zonkey's dead. Everything's got to go. You uh, didn't even have a, your zonkey didn't even have a name. Yeah, Buttercup's alive, as is noted. Yeah. <laughs> now, not only that, Buttercup's been named Buttercup for like that's, know, that's my first target is that fucking Buttercup. You should put war armor on Buttercup. I'm gonna eat that little bitch like a uh, peanut butter cup. So I, I'm thinking uh, this is an excellent stop. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so. Somebody can have a week to you know stew, get over, over it, stew, stew on it, and come up with better ideas. Man, thing, what'd you think today? That was great. I'm really angry because my zonkey's dead and Buttercup's alive. But, I mean, he was the bad <laughs> one of my zonkey. I didn't need to give him my name. He was so great, but apparently oh, the corruption yeah. of our youth. It, that's right. Oh, there you go, Frankie. I love the my producer. Like, you have nothing to say. Man, fact, you're missing the bigger picture. Now you, you have made Buttercup. 
That was the voice of Lear's wife right there. <laughs> uh, Buttercup is now the sole uh, albino zonkey yeah. on the mainland. That's it. She is number one. So I'm going to find some berries and stain that bitch. <laughs> uh, so you're going to take... find the sharp edge of that silver knife if you're not careful. <laughs> well, you know what I'm thinking? My zonkey, Bruce, is going to make that bitch. No, I was thinking when the full moon comes, this were rat's gonna mate that bitch. Uh, that should be in a week. So, and you, you're already you just thinking the zombie. Remember that when you're chained yeah. to a tree. Uh, <laughs> Haggis, what'd you think? That was so fun. <laughs> and a few words. <laughs> yeah, you know, gen genocide oh, is God. <laughs> uh, Jason, what do you think? Um, I think Copius has blocked out the last uh, several days. No memory of anything. <laughs> he remembers a storm and the ship crashing uh, and chaos. Most hey. of the hands lost. That's all he remembers. If you, you can say, need... look at my hat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you need some help, you can read Robert's memoirs. Oh, he's a known liar. Nobody yeah. believes him. Here, let me write your story. <laughs> Frank Senior, well, what'd you think? Oh, I had a ball. I had a blank. I thought it was a really a comeuppance for these Stephen ass half. <laughs> yes, genocide was. Uh, uh, you know, it, well, let's, you know let's we didn't kill them. Their their own god turned against them. <laughs> I thought uh, you stole their that on me. <laughs> didn't have any role in <laughs> any of them. Not at all. <laughs> you no, know, look blameless. We there, gave him ninety-seven percent of our silver. <laughs> oh, and is. a bongo. We gave him and a bongo. A bongo. A bongo. Let's There's, be clear. This moral of this story is Lear's a dick. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's it, right there. More of the story. We're right. He's wrong. Darn right. Next time they'll pick a better god to worship. <laughs> yeah, no, the no they time. will not. <laughs> no, they won't. They're They're they won't they'll think us. AJ, what'd you think? I'm thrilled. Buttercup <laughs> is alive. The town, there's no survivors. We didn't have to kill anybody. It was a good oh, day. Yeah, yeah. We, no, didn't, we, we didn't kill, kill anybody. anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't have to dirty our hands. Uh, in uh, and ship, by slaughtering ship, survivors in ship loss number two, uh, there was going to be bounty hunters after you. I don't think that's the episode we played. I think we played <laughs> no. episode one. Uh, ain't no bounty hunters coming after your butts. Uh, I I don't know what to say, folks. Yeah. This has been Murder Hub of the Tri Generational Genocidal Party. Uh, follow us on Twitch, follow uh, us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. Oh shoot God. the shit about this show or any of the others. Join the Discord. Uh, if you want to buy our stuff, go ahead. Uh, there's a there's a flood sale, I guess. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on the one shot or the talk show, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. Uh, hit us up, let us know. Thanks to Pirate Dog Dice for most of my roles being pretty good, and of course. Uh, Adventure Sense, oddfishgames.com. Maybe they come up with a bloated body floating in salt water scent. <laughs> or just such an occasion. I don't want none of that. Ooh. I figured it smelled like the brothel. Uh, did, well, one of you got the... Who, who got the harem one? Who do you think got the harem? Felix. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, folks, we hope you have a... like the pink house. <laughs> <laughs> Not right now, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, folks, uh, no, hope you have a great no, weekend. Just... Join us Tuesday for the talk show. We will see you later. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>